everybody so i thought i would start my vlog here obviously i'm speaking a little bit quietly um because it's like 10 o'clock so it's friday night i go tomorrow morning very early to brighton and i thought i'd start this moving vlog here because tomorrow's going to be probably very rushed everything's in the van now like ready yeah um thought i'd start the vlog i'm gonna get up at 6 a.m i'm gonna leave at about half seven in the morning so yeah um my moving slots between 10 and 11 so let's go by the way i'm feeling very nervous but very excited i've watched those eyes light up with a smile river in the night good times so I'm the worst vlogger in the world. Sorry if I'm speaking a little bit quietly. Obviously, don't want to speak really loudly because I don't know how thin the walls are. But I have been the worst. So I literally just filmed when I got up this morning and that was it. Um, and yeah, basically, I am now here. I've been here all day. It's quarter past five right now. Dad went about... Oh my God, it looks so shiny. My dad went about half an hour ago, I'd say maybe longer actually so shiny because it was so hot today but we went to like the pier and stuff we went out for lunch um but yeah we got here at 10 and then we didn't finish kind of sorting things out as much as we could um until like 12 so then we went out and la -di -da. i'm not gonna lie i'm like shitting it right now um i'm really hot i've met everybody which is really nice although we're still waiting on the sixth person maybe there's not anybody else in there but who knows yeah my room's a mess so i'll show you what it looks like right now but it's like i haven't really even started I've literally just finished doing the kitchen stuff there were like a few things that could go in the kitchen so i'll show you now we have a few snacky bits down here that need sorting and a load of empty bags this suitcase which has got like some of my clothes in that bag that needs sorting we've got little shelves here this which is a mess my bed which is a mess and then this is the desk. And then the cupboard here, which I haven't done yet. All of this. And then that's gonna be my ring light in a minute if I can figure out how to put it up again. The curtain obviously goes across there. The wardrobe is really nice size actually. I've got space at the top, all of that. And I've actually got room in the wardrobe. Like look how much room I actually have in that, but I need to still continue with that. A few things down there. Sorry, I just stopped recording. But then we have the big window here pretty cool and then just got my laundry basket and that here so yeah but i'm gonna sort it out now like this is all empty and stuff so gonna make it look nice yeah no. i've seen your soul grow just like a rose made it through all of those storms girl into the woman i know Hey guys, so I look a bit of a mess because I have been crying. However, I'm a little bit better now because I just went into the kitchen and met kind of my last flatmate. So yeah, we just chilled in there for a bit, but I think we're all pretty much staying in tonight, just chilling and unpacking. So that is what I'm doing. This is my current pin board. Um, I've still got a lot to do, so I'm going to do it a little bit now, but I'm going to get a really early night because it's currently half eight and I'm just so tired, so we're going to do that. So cute. <laughs> Love it. So I'm ready for bed. It's the first night. I feel awkward, I feel awkward talking because obviously I haven't really talked to everybody about my YouTube. I think they pretty much know half of them do anyway. I'm just tired and I'm gonna get some sleep because I've been up since like quarter past five so I'm gonna do that um I feel rubbish though I'm gonna call my mum before I go to sleep but like yeah I feel like crap but we'll see night guys hey guys so this is actually amazing lighting I'm gonna put you like that and hopefully that'll be okay so I thought I would just talk to you. Obviously I'm still being a little bit quiet because I don't know how much people can hear. I don't really know how I'm feeling. I had a shit night. I woke up feeling shit. Literally cried all this morning and all last night. But 
um, after I spoke to my mum, I felt a lot better. It was hard. Um, and I met up with someone I've been talking to for a little while, so that was nice. And he's just left, so it's now 10.47. Um, so yeah, it's actually quite late. Yeah, I don't really know what to do because obviously I love it here. And I love Brighton. I love my room, everything. I just don't love, like, I love the people even. But I just don't love being away from home at all. I don't even know if you can really hear me right now, but yeah. I just don't like being away from home. I'm just such a homely person. I don't, I feel like this vlog is just like crap. But, you know, what I think is going to happen today is it's actually chucking it down with rain. Um, and we're going to go get our freshers wristbands, I think, at some point. I just feel like shit. We're going to go get them at some point and I... Oh, I feel emotional again, but I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight either, just purely because I'm not feeling it. And I think with me feeling homesick like I do, I don't want to push myself too much to do things like that because I know I would just feel worse to go home, but at the same time, like, I know I will regret it so much and. Obviously it's a lot of money, but I just want to go home. I'm tired as well. I'm so tired. Mainly because I've been like crying. I didn't drink my tea. I'm struggling to eat. I feel emotional again. But like, I struggle to eat when I'm like doing something that makes me anxious. I'm not even hungry and it's... 10 to 11, I didn't even have as much cereal as I normally have and I just feel sick. I'm gonna try and do some makeup and I'll get back to you guys another time. Okay guys, so believe it or not, I'm actually going out. <laughs> I am just going to, with like a couple of my flatmates I think, just to go get our freshers wristbands which we can't be to go to so. And I think we're gonna go get a toaster and stuff so I'm gonna do that. I might bring you guys with me, I might not. I'm not gonna bring a camera, but I might film on my phone or I might not film anything, so. Anyway, let's go. Okay guys, so I thought I would update you as quietly as possible. So basically, it's the it's Sunday today, 22nd of September. I feel like I've been here for so long, but I only got here yesterday, which is crazy, like honestly. I'm feeling so much better now. So the last clip, I obviously went out I told you guys that and I know it's been very like I haven't really took you with me but it's because I just keep forgetting that I'm doing this really um and I have been feeling like rubbish and obviously I've been meeting new people I don't want to like shove a camera in their face and that like I haven't actually properly like had a chat about my YouTube yet like half of them don't know and half of them do just through my Instagram but we got our wristbands I still don't want to go out though so I bought this wristband for no reason really um, but I just don't feel confident enough to yet because, like, I will go out with my friends, but, like, it's, it's a push to get me out with my friends even because, like, I just get really worried in the dark, like, this triggers my anxiety really, so being with new people doing that is even worse, but, like, I really do want to go out, it's just, again, the fact that I'm not with, like, my home friends and stuff. But yeah, I need to edit this vlog as well. It's probably so long. But right now I'm really, really tired. It's only half eight. But we've had a really good day. So me and one of my roommates went out to get the toaster earlier, like I said, and the wristbands. And that went really, really well. So nice. And we came back and we sat with like a few of our other flatmates and had some lunch and stuff. And then we sat and had dinner together as well tonight, most of us. And I think we're gonna go just sit in the kitchen and have some more drinks because I think that's the thing, like, I'm really enjoying being around them and, like, being able to talk to them about feeling homesick now because they all pretty much know that. I think one of the other girls who's actually from Spain, which is crazy, like, I would feel awful if I came from that far away. Yeah, basically, she's feeling quite homesick now too, I think, so we had a little bit of a chat about it earlier. And another one of the girls' um, parents were here earlier and her mum was really really nice as I said like 
I'm feeling a little bit better and considering I only arrived yesterday like I've only been left just over 24 hours pretty much um I think I have come on pretty well but I think I'd be okay if I knew I was going home like next week it's the fact that in my head I'm like I'm not going home until November I'm like Ugh. yes I guess we'll just see how things go I think my mum will come and visit like before then anyway but it's still like not knowing when like if she had like a specific date and was like yeah I'm coming to see you then um I would feel a lot better but obviously right now I'm like like obviously I'm still a bit like I want to go home but like I don't want to as well because I do love it here it's literally just being away from like getting emotional again but it's literally just being away from like my mum and my dog and like family you know what I mean let's not get emotional because I actually haven't been emotional since this morning so that was pretty good but yeah I've still got a few more things to kind of do in my room and unpack and stuff so I'm not going to do a room tour on here I'm going to do a separate room tour when it's all completely organized and like done yeah I guess we'll just see um how things go but obviously I'll be updating you like throughout on my YouTube channel anyway um and letting you know how I'm getting on doing little videos uni videos and stuff honestly I still don't know what's gonna happen like I don't know like yeah I'm hoping it'll be okay but I just I don't know I think I'm getting a bit down again now because it's like night time it's dark and stuff and I feel trapped at night time, that's always how I feel, so I always feel more anxious at night time and obviously you're more tired so that kind of makes you more emotional and stuff and obviously now I'm by myself again in my room now I've been with people since so like, probably only like 12 to be fair but yeah that's quite a long time to be with people so I'm going to go back and have a drink with them I think and then we'll see what happens but yeah, hello everybody. So I thought I would give you all an update because I'm sure you are all wanting one. So today is Monday the 23rd of September. I was going to update you in a few days time when I'm feeling a bit better and I still might do that. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys my journey more than anything. So today I woke up feeling like rubbish and I literally cried all day all morning and i felt really really sick and i don't know if it was homesick like nerves or anything i wasn't sick but i just felt really ill um i was really really hungry but like i just didn't want to eat and i've been like that pretty much since i got here um so i was meant to have two welcome talks today and um what else was it two welcome talks and an enrollment thing to get like my university ID but I just physically could not get myself to go obviously I had this like a year ago with college and that was just down the road and I couldn't get myself to go to college because of my anxiety and now I feel like it's all coming back to me and I'm like Ugh. so I've literally been on and off the phone with my mum and my dad like constantly and my dad rung up the uni to see if anyone could help um and there was this guy who did a talk that we went to last night um, and he works for like the well-being and stuff and so i spoke to him and had like an appointment with him but honestly it wasn't that helpful like basically there is really no way of getting over homesickness like you just deal with it and then eventually get over it whether but I just, I feel like uni just isn't for me, like, I wish all my family could come down here to Brighton, no, it's so badly, because I love Brighton, and I keep saying this, how I love everything here, I just can't get myself to do stuff, because I'm just so, like, scared and homesick. Look at me. This is like, um... Oh, this one's gone well red. This is like the um, results day video all over again <laughs> with like swapping unis and that where I was like crying on and off on the camera. But yeah, I just feel like rubbish. 
I just don't feel comfortable and I know it will probably get better but I know what I'm like I suffer really badly from health anxiety so basically I'm like constantly worrying about what if I'm ill like I'm not gonna have my parents here and I'm not con like a confident person to like ring up the doctor and go to the doctors you know what I mean like I need somebody who I'm close to but yeah Lucy did say that she would come up on Wednesday but I just I don't know what's gonna happen at the moment I've just spoke to dad and I was like I can't do this and we were discussing like what the other options would be and stuff like that honestly just feel crap like crap obviously it's awful because i have made a few friends like luckily i haven't met that many yet like i've literally just made friends with my flat and some guy who's really nice like really nice <laughs> so obviously it'd be sad to say goodbye to them but like i've just got to think about my happiness and i'm like i know what i'm like and i know that most people will get over homesickness in a couple of weeks or whatever. I, on the other hand, like, might get over homesickness, but I will always have that anxiety there. And I need to feel comfortable. And obviously, I just don't feel comfortable. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So, I didn't go to any of the things today. And I've just been in my room all day. And it's currently quarter past two. However, I think I'm going to try and push myself to go out and I'm going to go meet George because I haven't actually seen him yet since I've been here and like, oh my god, I don't really need to see George like so badly. I actually think our, our last flatmate's moving in today because um, she's broke her ankle. So I think she's coming to move in today and then she's going back again for like another week until like Sunday or something. Um, I think she might have just arrived. Yeah, she has as well. I can hear her. Oh, I can hear her. Um, but yeah, basically she's just moved in, <laughs> literally just now. Um, so I'll probably go meet her in a bit, but obviously I feel a bit awkward like looking like this. Like I have tried to do my makeup multiple times today, so yeah. Um, I will get back to you guys when something exciting happens. I will also do a room tour of this room before I go. I just don't want to leave, like I don't want to leave Brighton and I do really love this room, I don't want to leave this room or anything, I just wish, you know, my parents could just have a temporary hotel room just to stay in this hotel for like four years. <laughs> I'm so stupid honestly. Hello everybody. So as you can see, I'm going to put you up here, I am back home. <laughs> so today is Thursday the 26th of September. So I thought I would do a little update for you guys on basically the situation, what happened and la di da. The last thing you saw in this video was um, on, I'm going to try and be like quick with it all. But yeah, the last thing you saw was on Monday. I saw that guy, like the welfare guy and I was feeling pretty rubbish basically. Then Tuesday was just as bad. I stayed in all day again. Um, the exact same as I did on Monday, which obviously does not help things. I went into the kitchen like a few times obviously to make like food and stuff and so I saw people then and I did feel better then. So like I I don't get why I didn't just do that more. But anyway, so yeah. And so Tuesday I got an appointment with the counsellor. So I went and saw her and we had a really long chat and she was really, really helpful. I really enjoyed seeing her. And she gave me some pieces of paper, which is actually here, actually. Like, there's a lot there. Uh, it's a bit kind of crinkled because it's been in my backpack. But, yeah. There's, like, stuff on homesickness and stuff on anxiety and panic attacks. And how to, like, help them. Anxiety management techniques. Things like that. And she gave me all of them to read and stuff. And I read through them. And it was kind of helpful. Felt really good after I saw her. But then I just went back down again. And I had, a, like, like, a long hour nap and stuff and I just yeah just couldn't stop crying again getting really really upset and worked up on Tuesday I was really starting to struggle to eat um so Tuesday night I decided I was gonna have some super noodles because they were quick and easy to make because obviously I'd been crying so I didn't really want to go in the 
kitchen for like that long um but no one actually saw me cooking in the end so yeah i went and got some super noodles which normally i would eat if i'm ill or something like that because i know it's something that i always fancy and like can eat pretty well but i literally can even eat them i ate half a bowl of these super noodles and like there's not even that much in there and i just felt so sick like so sick and just was really really hungry which was obviously making me more sick like feel more sick because i hadn't eaten anything i just physically couldn't eat and then i was on the phone to my sister watching bake off in the end on tuesday night and it did help me a little bit and i did get to sleep but i just felt super ill i woke up yesterday morning wednesday and was just in a complete state i just missed home so much i still felt so so sick and i just really didn't know what to do with myself i went into the kitchen and got some cereal and i tried to eat that in my room and again i couldn't eat it i ate literally only a few mouthfuls and i was just like i can't eat so yeah and it was getting really bad then because i just felt so super sick and weak because i hadn't eaten and it was just getting worse and worse and worse and i was just going in this spiral so yeah basically in the end i managed to get home yesterday george and his friend were absolute babes i mean i did pay them but they took me all the way home and then they drove all the way back and I like I'm so grateful for them like so grateful and obviously it was so nice to see George as well like it definitely lightened up my day a lot more. I came home yesterday afternoon and I just I've started eating again like I can eat now and like I'm still not 100% there like I still feel a bit sick at times and like I'm really really hungry right now but like I'm back to feeling hungry when I normally feel hungry and stuff like that and just wanting to eat so yeah as I said I came back yesterday and I'm getting my body kind of back to normal now I was gonna go back there today because there is like the freshers fair today and things like that but to be fair, I don't even have my uni card yet. Um, I need to go pick that up when I get back. But you had to have that to get to the freshers' fair anyway, and I don't have it. Just getting myself back to normal. I'm going to go see my therapist tonight, or my counsellor, whatever, um, tonight, who I saw months ago when I had really bad anxiety before when I couldn't go to college and things like that. I'm going to go see him because he was amazing last time. Like, he really helped me. Also, if you can hear in the background i'm really sorry it's literally chucking it down so yeah i'm gonna go do that and then i was yeah i was gonna come back like today or tomorrow but my mum my mum had actually bought um like paid for a hotel over in brighton for the weekend so i'm gonna go back with her then spend the weekend with her and her partner and then we they're obviously gonna leave on like sunday night i think and then i've got my first proper lesson things um on monday so i've got to make sure i go to that but yeah i thought i would just update you on what's happening i feel a lot lot better now obviously from being home and i'm now not like oh, i want to quit uni like i do really want to go and i think i just needed this to come home and just to get my head straight so i can think yeah actually i do really want to do this it's literally just getting over the homesickness as i said like if i have help from other people like i know it will like it'll be a lot better i'm just getting my mind back to its normal state really and just making myself feel better this is like the longest video you would have ever seen <laughs> But yeah, hopefully I will be feeling a lot, lot better. I am going to end this video here for sure now. So yeah, hopefully I will feel better when I go back. But I'll update you guys a bit later on. Um, because obviously I do want to end this vlog. Just know I'm feeling so much better now. I am home and I'm feeling a lot more motivated. And like I want to go there and that I am going to be okay. So also I'm not going to lie to you guys. Also came on my period like... A couple of days ago which was unintentional because basically i take the pill and it's the one where you take it for a month and then you have like a week off where you have your period in that week but i kept feeling really sick when i came back on the pill afterwards after like having that week off so the woman told me that i could take them continuously so i've been doing that and it's just so typical that I just, like, my body decides that it's going to have a period when it's not meant to have a period when I'm going to uni. 
like what worse timing like it could have done this months ago because I've been taking this continuously for ages it could have done it months ago but no it decides to do it at uni so that's probably also why I've been feeling extra emotional and extra sick and all that so but yeah guys um so hopefully I will be feeling better very very soon and obviously I think once I start my course properly and stuff I will just yeah feel a bit better and things and feel a bit more comfortable really so yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the thumbs up button sorry it wasn't like a proper like move-in vlog like everybody else's you see on youtube but i guess this will help people a lot if they are kind of feeling a bit homesick like me like to know that there's other people out there because i know personally that there is other people out there that are feeling the same as me but not to the extent that I was because I was like talking to loads of people and um, none of them seemed to feel the same way as me so if you guys are feeling the same way as me please comment below because you know I'd love to have a chat <laughs> or follow my Instagram and DM me on there so make sure you check out my social media which is on the screen now and yeah subscribe if you haven't already because we also just hit 1.6k woo! Okay yeah, guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very very soon back in Brighton. <laughs> Bye!